Hi everybody, my name is Cassie and I'm here at the Urban Farming Institute in Oakland Park, Florida with our ACT NOW, Nourishing Ourselves Holistically, where we talk about a variety of healthy habits that you can incorporate in your life no matter where you are or whatever is going on that will promote health, wellness, and happiness with your mind, body, and soul. So as you know, we're going to be covering habits that involve nutrition as well as physical activity, mindfulness, stress management, gardening, and even growing your own food. Today, I'm here to highlight an important nutrient. We're gonna talk about protein. So many of us, when we think about protein, we think about bodybuilders or maybe even you know Popeye with his big muscle. But did you know that protein has other functions in our body besides making our muscles nice and strong? Protein is responsible for the growth and repair of tissues. It can even help transmit messages all throughout our body. But did you know that protein is actually great for your immune health as well? In fact, not consuming enough protein in your diet can actually compromise your immune system. And with everything that's going on right now, it's really important that we take steps to support our immune health or our body's natural ability to defend us against harmful microorganisms, pathogens, or bacteria. So here we're going to talk about a couple of food sources of protein and then even give you a quick little recipe that's packed with protein and a fun way to get some vegetables into your diet. So we normally think about protein as meat. So we have red meat, steak, there's pork, turkey, chicken, there's even protein powders, protein bars. Also we always want to focus on food first instead of supplements. But did you also know that there are plant-based protein options? So these can include tofu, quinoa, certain beans, even uh, some vegetables. But more importantly, we really want to focus on eating multiple plant-based proteins. So unlike meat, plants don't have the full amino acid profile that our body needs. So that's one of the benefits of eating meat. But don't worry, if you are gonna to choose to go the plant-based way, all you have to do is pair different plant-based proteins together so you get that full amino acid profile. So today, we're gonna to talk about a plant-based sweet recipe that'll for sure excite your kids, be fun to eat at home, and you don't have to feel bad about snacking on this while we're in quarantine. So we are gonna make chickpea cookie dough. And I know what you're thinking, chickpeas, but don't worry, I promise you it tastes way better than it sounds. So a couple of the ingredients that we're gonna have is chickpeas. You can use, I'm using almond butter, but it can be any nut butter of your choice. Whatever toppings that you wanna put into your cookie dough. So I have chocolate chips, but you could always add nuts or sprinkles, maybe even the mini M&Ms. I also have some local honey here from Broward County, cinnamon and vanilla. So the first thing I'm gonna do is after I've rinsed my chickpeas, I'm just gonna add them to the food processor. You can use a Nutribullet like I'm using or a food processor, even a blender. Sometimes you might need to mash it a little bit with your fork afterwards. Then we have almond butter. Remember, you can use a nut butter of your choice or even a seed butter. I'm gonna add a little bit of honey for sweetness. So remember, this is gonna be edible cookie dough, so we don't have to cook it or make it into cookies. I personally like adding cinnamon. And then also a hint of vanilla. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water, that way it blends up nicely, but not too much because I want it to be a thick consistency. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it up. You might need to stop and start your blender or food processor a few times so it really gets nice and blended. And then I'll just shake it up. So we want most of the chunks to be out of there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it into my mixing bowl. Like I said, I absolutely love sweets. If you put cookies in front of me, I will probably eat the entire thing. So this is a fun way that, you know, I'm sneaking some fiber into my diet as well as protein because chickpeas have some protein in it. If you want to add a little bit of extra protein, you could put a protein powder in it. I'm going to mash it up a little bit with my fork. Then I'm going to add my toppings. So remember, I'm using chocolate chips. Mix it all together. 
and then spoon it right into my bowl. Looks just like this. And remember, this is great because you don't have to worry about any raw eggs in it. You can eat it right away. And like I said, it has a little bit of protein, some fiber, and it tastes really great and your kids will enjoy it. And it's a perfect sweet snack after dinner. And like I said, it protein supports the immune system and we need to do everything we can right now to eat foods that help support our body's natural defense system. Mmm, tastes great. Be sure to like us on Facebook as well as to keep up to date with new videos of our Act Now series.